Hi friends, this is Manis Pandey. Welcome back to my series on UiPath Data Service. In this video, I am going to take you on a tour of the data service user interface and show you some of the key features and options available there. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of how to navigate and use this data service effectively. So let's start now. Okay, so here we are on the UiPath Orchestrator. Now you have to navigate through these options and then go to more option, click on data service. This is the user interface of UiPath data service. Now one more thing. So if you are not getting option here, this data service, then how you can enable this? Click on this option, click on admin. Now click on your tenant, click on services. Somewhere you will see the data service. So I can see here data service. You need to click on three options and if it is disabled then you need to enable it you just go here click on data service now this is UiPath data service user interface let's go through all these options which is available on the UiPath data service page top right side you can see the first one that is API access if you click on this it will open the API access wizard if you can see here it has the option copy API link and then download open api file json this is useful if you want to integrate data service with other systems or you want to use the api to manipulate your data directly let me show you here so click on copy and then let's go to notepad paste here okay now the second one we have download open api file json let's download that and let's see how does it look like let's open this Okay, so this has been now opened. Now we'll go to the next one. We have this manage access. The manage access icon, if you'll click on this, it will take you to the administration page where you, where you can assign or create roles to control who can access and manage your data service entities. And it's an important feature for maintaining the data security and assigning the right permissions. From the roles, you can see we have administrator, data reader, data writer, designer. From right side, if you click on this I, that means view permissions. You can see administrator has access to manage that, to manage permissions. Administrator cannot you know, view all the schema. Administrator cannot customize all the schema and no access to the data, right? So administrator can only manage the permissions. So while setting up the permission while giving the access you need to take care of that like which type of access that you are giving to that user data reader so data reader that role that person who has the data reader role assigned that that person can only view all the schema and read access for all entities same way data writer so data writer basically uh, view all the schema complete read and write access for all entity designer so view all schema customize all schema and then data access permission no access manage permission no now go to role assignments here you can see everyone has is a data reader so this rate data reader assigned to everyone now data writer assigned to the automation users administrator designer and data writer assigned to the administrators designer and data writer assigned to the citizen developers and then data writer and designer assigned to the automation developer so if you're going to use this one you can assign yourself in into any of this now let's go back to the main page so these are like help button and the notification then profile these are not a part of basically a only of data service it is common now third one is manage choice sets manage choice sets this button opens the choice set page here you can create and manage the choice sets there is already a user type available here if you click on that you can see the multiple user type available so application group robot and users is all a type of uh, user type and it's choice sets you can see so you can create from here we'll go back to the main page main screen little bit here okay now we have fourth one that is create new entity create new entity button is one of the most important button which is used to create 
new entity click on that enter the name display name name description and then create entity you know that you can think about like a third table which can store the structured data it's like a database table now the fifth that is search this is where you can quickly search for a specific entity so you have list of entities available here and you want to search for any specific one so you can just type here that i want to search for support tickets and you can search and get it the sixth option that is import and export click on that we have option export schema and import schema now what is this schema this allow you to either import an entity schema from a file or to export the schema of an existing entity and this is particularly useful when you are migrating or sharing the entity structure between the different environments or projects now next one we have use in studio the documentation of how to use this uipar data service we'll click on that it will redirect you to the studio user guide now the next we have refresh button the refresh button is used to refresh the current list of entities which makes sure that you are seeing the most up-to-date information especially if changes have been made by the others now here in this table you can see all the entities customers so the entity display name the name of the entity description number of fields we have in that entity number of records we have in that a specific entity the last modified so this was the overview of uipar data service user interface if you think that this video is very important then please like this video and please subscribe the channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video